One of the world's smallest APS-C cameras produces some of the most amazing video and pictures. <laughs> While we're on the subject of APS-C cameras, I did a 6300 in Disney World last week. This week we're in Sedona and I'm going to use something even smaller. My favorite little 5100. This camera is one of the smallest APS-C cameras you can get. Hold this. And I've got something even smaller than the last lens I used on here. This is the G Master Sony 15 millimeter 1.4. This is even smaller than the Sigma 16 1.4. This is a really lightweight, great lens. You get the 1.4. It's really small. It's perfect for the little camera like this, which by the way has a flip up screen. And I'm filming with one right now. I'm filming with a 5100 right now with the 23 1.4 set at 1.7. I also have, what is this? What else do I have? I have, uh, I have my 56. That's a pretty small one too. It's the 56 millimeter. Look how small that is. And I also have, just for emergency purposes, my 50, 16 to 50 zoom kit lens. Look how small that is for a zoom. And of course, you're not going to get blurry backgrounds with this, but all the other ones you do. Anyway, so today I'm going to show you, uh, we're going to have some fun with a uh, little 5100 and three little lenses and uh, in Sedona, and I'm going to use my little well-making light just to, and sometimes I might need that to fill in the light, but uh, you can get some really nice depth of field with the 5100. So let's have some fun in Sedona. Just like the 6300, the 5100 is some of the best colors of any Sony camera in my opinion, and the 5100 is almost half the size and weight of the already small lightweight 6300. It doesn't have a viewfinder or any stabilization, but the flip-up screen is fantastic for vlogging. It doesn't have a hot shoe, but it does have a pop-up flash. Its tiny size and flip-up screen makes it perfect for street photography. The 15 1.4 G Master and the 23 and 56 1.4 Sigmas are amazing small lenses lenses for this little camera to give stunning blurry backgrounds. This camera weighs nothing, is so easy to use, takes amazing pictures, and the video is mesmerizingly 3D for some reason. The card slot is on the side, not the bottom, and if you're lucky you can sometimes find a good used one for like 300 bucks. I've got three or four of them. This tiny camera came out in 2014, has better colors than many newer cameras, is much more fun than full frame, and the sensor is over one and a half times bigger than Micro Four Thirds. What a joy to play Play with and if you're using a pancake lens like the Viltrox 28 it'll literally fit in your pocket. Look at the 3D effect you can get with this camera. Again no stabilization but software can easily take care of that. The colors and 3D effect alone are so much fun to look at. Fun fun fun. So there you go little tiny 5100. Look at how tiny this camera is here. We're one of the world's smallest APS-C cameras and this little lens here 15 millimeter 1.4 and I used the 23 1.4 for I think most of it but some of it I used this anyway so there you go some really nice stuff from a tiny little old camera that is older than the dinosaurs but look how small it is flip up screen really nice you cannot do flash with it it has built-in flash I think it's called a pancake camera there you go all right we'll see you in the next video bye bye, bye.